Hey what's going on everybody, BearFox here and in this video today I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings for Streamlabs OBS and OBS. So if you guys are new around here, consider liking and subscribing because I'm going to be sharing a lot of valuable information in this video. And also I hope this video might help you in recording great things. So just don't skip the video, just watch it till the end. Also guys, these guys take a lot of efforts to come out to you guys. So you know, just you can leave a like and hit the subscribe button, it encourages me and helps me to make more of these videos. So yep guys, without wasting up any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, what you have to do is open up your OBS. Okay, so over here what you have to do is just go to your settings and over there Just come down to output. We're gonna be starting from here So first of all make your output mode from simple to advanced now once you are here you will find this encoder all you have to do is use nvidia and rank h264 new encoders uh, because these are the fastest ones then we have the rescale output just leave it to whatever it is set by default you can even upscale it you can even downscale it but these are the ones for streaming okay so for streaming what you have to do is just have the rate control to cbr and the bitrate to somewhere around six five thousand to six thousand kbps you need to run a speed test before you do anything ahead all you have to do is just do a speed test and just make sure that what your upload speed is if your upload speed is pretty good then there is nothing you can go up to ten thousand kbps but if you don't have a really nice upload speed you can go from 5000 to 7000 but make sure that you guys don't go below 5000 because that's gonna be making your stream too blurry in my case i'm having more than 100 mbps in my speed test so i can go for 10,000 kbps but you guys have to look what are, what is the best one for you now for the keyframe interval i highly suggest you guys should make it two if you're playing a high fps game just go for one like you're playing valorant fortnite just make your keyframe interval one but if you guys are playing soft paced game like gta 5 minecraft you can go for two just make sure that you don't keep it to zero because that's gonna be making your stream very laggy then for the preset i suggest you guys to go for quality if you have a good computer but if you don't have a good computer you can go for max performance so for me i have the quality and profile is going to be high no matter what if you have a bad pc or a good pc just make sure that you have like a, you know high profile and you can choose between quality and performance next step is just make sure that you have the look ahead off and the psycho visual tuning turned on and the max bitrate should be 2 and gpu should be left with untouched now moving on to the recordings tab all you have to do over here is from uh type you have to select standard over here in case you don't have standard over here so just select and the recording part this is where your videos are going for me i save it in this folder uh, and the recording format this is one of the most important people get very confused between mov flv and mp4 and mkv so mp4 today is the most handy video profile um you can even select mkv or mov but these are these are not confirmed to work on every device but mp4 you can play it at any device also just make sure that you have the audio tag untouched and make sure that it is just clicked on one in case you're using more than one audio track you can select the amount of audio tracks that you're using for encoder, all you have to do is, is select the NVIDIA uh, NVENC H264 new encoders. These, uh, as I said, these are the new encoders and you can download it from GeForce Experience. Now moving down, we have something called rate control. Over here, you can use VBR and CBR. In the previous guide, which has got a lot of views, uh, a lot of people i have told you guys that use vbr but as of present date and the uh, and the present update i guess cbr is one of the best rate control that you can use all you have to do is just use a bitrate that your computer can match if you have a really good graphics card you can go for above 10,000 kbps if you have a medium spec graphic card you can use 10,000 i i opened this obs last when i had gdx 1050 so all the settings over here are for gdx 1050 but i'm gonna be changing it with my 2070 super i'm gonna be using my 25,000 kbps bitrate while recording videos 
And for the keyframe interval, it is important that you guys select two over here. The preset should be max quality if you have a really good GPU. And if you have a bad GPU, you can go for max performance, as I said in the stream. Now the difference between stream and recording is that you have to select main in your profile not high over here because you're playing, you're recording, you all have to alter your computer while recording, right? Uh, if you got like bad frames in recording, you can just fix it in editing. But while streaming, you don't want anything go wrong because that is gonna be uneditable. So for profile, we use main over here and we use high while streaming. Now moving down just make sure that you have look ahead turned off and psycho visual tuning turned on and the max B frame should be 2. Coming down to audio just make sure that you have the sample rate at 48 kilohertz. Now also this depends upon the mic and the output source that you are using. All you have to do to find that is go to control panel and type in sound over there. Now once you find sound you have to click on it and then just see the speakers you are using for me I'm, to, I'm going to the properties and over there just go to advanced and you'll find that I'm using 48,000 kilohertz by default and for the microphone you have to go to recordings and see the mic that you are using so this is the mic that I have in headphones I'm gonna be going to properties and going to advanced you can see that this mic uses 48,000 hertz but if I go to the mic that I use while recording, so this is the voice meter output in which you guys can hear me right now. I'm just going to be going to the properties and advance. It uses 44.1 kHz, but as soon as I switch it to 48 kHz, it's going to be changing. You guys might not hear me. Okay. Alright, so now I have changed the sound quality and you might have seen the improvement. Now this is the mic, the raw mic that has been set to 48,000 Hz. So that's how it works. So just that, you use 48 kilo, 48 kilo Hz, that means 48,000 Hz. And just leave everything as it is, you don't have to you know, touch anything else. Now I'll come to the video section, now this depends upon the canvas resolution of your monitor now i'm using two monitors right now one is 13 1370 by 768 and the other one is 1920 by 1080 the screen that you are seeing right now so as you guys can see the aspect ratio should be 16 is to 9 and you can use any resolution that you want but this is called the hd resolution moving down we have something called downscale filter now you have to choose this very wisely depending upon your computer's strength okay if you have a really 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 bad computer you guys can use bilinear like without having a graphic card having a really really old processor not a good cooling system you guys can feel free to use bilinear next up i don't suggest area i don't know it has been added recently but earlier there were only bilinear bicubic and langsos so I've told you bilinear, I have no idea about area. If you guys want me, me to make a video on area, just leave a comment down below. Then something we have called bicubic. Now bicubic is a bit faster than bilinear, but a bit slow than Langsos. Over here, what you have to do is you can use bilinear if you have a mid-spec computer like a 1050 Ti graphics card. It is really good. But for me, I'm going to be using Langsos. So this all depends upon the computer that you're using and the graphics card and the processing power that your computer can use to render a video while recording. For the common frames value, you guys can go to 60. They, they should add more than 60 frames, right? But 60 is minimum or maximum you can go over here. Uh, if you don't have a good computer, I suggest you guys can make a 59.94. It's gonna be not making a really big difference in the video, but it's gonna be making a big difference in performance. I'm just gonna be choosing 60. And then now comes the hotkeys. Hotkeys are something that you have to choose it on your own. So over here I have made some hotkeys for me that is stop streaming and start recording. Uh, for start streaming I use Control Shift B and stop streaming I use... Okay, my other screen recorder started streaming. Damn. Alright, so that's how you do it. 
and we have some other scenes that you guys can choose from over here so it's 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 very simple guys there's nothing much you have to do you can you know you can get this by on your own now over here coming to the advanced, this is one of the most important people say, but to me it is not that important, okay? You don't have to do anything over here, you don't have to change anything, just the process priority, go to normal, or if your computer is bad, you can go to above normal, and if your computer is really really bad, you can go to high. But keeping it on normal gave me the expected result, so I don't have to change it. The renderer should be 3D11. The color format, and you don't have to change anything over here. I use 709, but you guys can go to sRGB. So this is one of the uh, RGB spectrum, the colors we see. So it's nothing much to change over here. We have the recording format, we have the buffers, we have the automatic reconnects. We, we don't have to choose anything. Just click apply and that's all you have to do. So guys, I hope this guide was helpful for all of you. If that helps you, make sure to do leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Support me guys, I'm really close to 14k subscribers. Help me reach getting 20k subscribers if each one of you can subscribe. It's gonna be meaning a lot to me. I'm gonna be bringing these type of guides more and more to you guys. So just stay tuned and keep watching Bear Fox. Till then, bye.